podcast back again. Michael Zoll here, doing a video tutorial series for West Said Electronic Music. This is part six of our Wise to Unity integration tutorial series. And today we're going to be covering how to do reverb zones. Um, not too tough to do this uh, in Wise. I'd say the, yeah, pretty simple. So, First off, uh, in this map, there's not really anything to work with. I mean, I could have picked something like the inside of like this barn or something, but you know, that wasn't that cool. So I decided to just put together a little, a little uh, crappy castle, you know, to get some reverb going. So I found this sandstone wall construction kit from the asset store. Uh, if you just look for like sandstone, you know, you can find it. Sandstone wall construction kit. Downloaded it, imported it into my project, and here we go with, uh, I'm just going to throw a little something together here. Um, just from the prefabs here, we'll throw a uh, that on there, and just uh, real quickly, not take too much time, but that's pretty tall. Let's do uh, like three. There we go. Uh, we'll just make a little castle here real quick. So create empty. Uh, we'll make this game object our castle. Hell of a castle it's going to be. Wallstone end. We already made it a little taller. We're just going to duplicate this. Copy. Uh, actually, you can just control D to duplicate it. So now I've got four of them. And I uh, actually want to make six of them because we're going to put a little doorway in there. So start moving these around. Uh, let's start with, uh, so one and two will have be our doorway. Something like that. And then three will be one of our corners. Four will be another corner. And then five is right here. Actually, to make this easier, I can just duplicate this one and move it back this way. And four, uh, it's three. Duplicate this one and move it back this way. Just kind of uh, eyeball this and, you know, Get it put together so we got something to do our reverb zone inside of. Uh, and we're going to add a wall, the wall of stone. And we'll do the same thing with this scale wise. We'll scale it up by three. And then we'll, uh, we'll get something like that going on. All right, and there's our wall stone straight. We'll throw this in our castle object and duplicate this and move it over here. All right, hacking up and we'll uh, we'll duplicate it again and rotate it. Oh, we can now we could just use. The transform to rotate at 90 degrees back here. All right. A little further, there we go. Uh, that's not perfectly straight, but who cares? And we'll do, uh, I will duplicate it and just shorten one of them. I will make two of them. Over here. There we go. Oh, I couldn't get in if we left it like that. So we'll uh, there we go. Duplicate that. Bam. Oh. Did I duplicate that? There we go. Bam. Uh, 
bam, instant castle. So, and for all these, just for uh, fun as well, we'll we'll throw a mesh collider on them so we can't just you know run run right through it. Uh, so we'll go to add component, physics, mesh collider, and we'll make this material uh, metal. It's fine, metal. And let's just play test this little bad boy. Oh, look at that. Frickin' amazing. Alright, so nothing going on in here yet. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll back out and uh, we'll just get everything set up in Unity to begin with. Actually, I lied. Let's go ahead and pop over into Wise and set up our reverb over there. All right, so let's go to our WISE project, and what we're going to do here is the way that this works is uh, this is going to be a send effect that is going to be applied to any um, any sound effect that is environment aware. You remember seeing our environment aware checkbox in our game object, our AK game object script that gets attached to our objects for WISE game objects. And what we need to do is uh, create an aux bus to put this reverb on. So here's our master audio bus. We're going to create a new aux bus. We can make a new child and make that an auxiliary bus. And we'll call this reverb. And hopefully you know about signal flow from working in digital audio workstations. This is just like setting up a reverb on a on a send, on an aux, on an aux send, like, you know, say in Pro Tools. You know, an insert effect would be something like a compressor. It, you know, affects, you know, in line the entire signal that's running through it. And uh, we're not doing that. We're going to be um, applying this on a send. So it's bussing the audio onto a second uh, path, if you will, towards our auxiliary input or bus in this case. And then we're applying the reverb onto this bus. So, same signal flow. Uh, so we'll go and we'll add one of the just free included uh, wise room verbs. Rooms, we'll do like room, uh, room medium. And we want to test this out. Um, let's go ahead and uh, on one of our footsteps, We'll just uh, temporarily add this. Uh, general settings. We'll add this aux bus onto here just for testing purposes. We want to make sure we take it off before we uh, uh, generate our sound banks, or else this footsteps uh, switch container will have this reverb on it all the time. And we don't want it to be on all the time. <clears throat> we want it to be only triggered when you're inside our reverb zone. So you can hear our reverb being applied to our uh, footsteps. So we can go and uh, go to our reverb here. Facts, and we'll edit this a little bit. Let's go ahead and just make this nice and long just so it's exaggerated and uh, you know is easy to hear. Uh, in our project. So, where is our, we'll make our decay time like, you know, two seconds. Longer, like three seconds. Totally doesn't, you know, match what the real, ver real world uh, representation of that castle that we created would sound like. But, you know, again, we're just making a demo here. We want to hear, you know, what our effects sound like. Nice and exaggerated. And, uh, we'll just go ahead and you know, you see all of your options here for tailoring your uh, reverb to sound the way you want. But we'll just go ahead and leave it like that. Uh, maybe get some of this high frequency damping going. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna take, we're gonna go back to our footsteps and 
We're going to remove this aux bus. None. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to use game defined auxiliary sense, which means that the game is going to trigger whether or not this uh, switch container is going to be sending a signal to our auxiliary reverb bus. And that's all you need to do right here in uh, WISE. <clears throat> so we'll generate our sound banks <clears throat> and close. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll pop back over into Unity. Now we want to create the actual reverb zone itself. So within, inside our castle here, we're going to make one more uh, empty object. This is going to be our, this is going to be another box collider. So uh, castle uh, reverb. And we want to add a component to it. It's going to be a box collider. Is trigger. Again, it's going to be triggering the reverb zone being turned on or off. So we want to uh, get this positioned inside here. And go ahead and size that to just fill up the entirety of this structure here. Can't really see that well. Um, oh, and let's move this back inside of our castle just so it's all grouped together. And we will make this bigger. Try to just get it to fill up all of the interior of this kick-ass little castle that we made. Best castle ever. And we'll make the, we'll scale up the Y dimension as well. So, not bad. It's getting kind of, either it's getting really late or I just can't see this that well. I'll make it a little bit smaller. No, not that way, this way. There we go. Anyway, so there's our box collider. Did I rotate this? No. It's just not on level ground, maybe. Anyway, uh, we're going to add a component here. This is what is going to be the trigger for our reverb zone. And uh, we'll go to scripts, excuse me, we'll go to wise, AK environment, <clears throat> and the aux bus. And select that, auxiliary buses. Oh. We uh, must not have gotten this pushed over. Do we generate? Yep. And we should see our aux bus. Uh, in Unity, let's look at the Wise Picker. Auxiliary buses, default work unit, master, reverb. There we go. Now we can see it. Okay. And that's all we need to do for this. One more thing we have to do, though, is we need to go back over to our first person controller. And just make sure that we're environment aware on our uh, first person controller. So we already have a um, rigid body attached right here. So we just need to add a component. Again, we're going to go to Wise and AK Game Object, make it environment aware. And pretty sure that's all we're going to need to do. So now we should hear our footsteps uh, turn on that aux bus when we walk inside of our collider that we set up over inside our little castle here. There's our footsteps. They're dry. And there we go.
dry. <gasps> Reverb. So for anything, say you were setting this up in, you know, a more, um, I guess you would say, you know, busy kind of scene where you had other objects that were, you know, emanating sound that you wanted to have reverb applied to them as well. Those game objects and their associated events would also have to have rigid bodies and uh, be set to be environment aware for them to be affected by the reverb zone. So in this case, for this example, we just wanted to use the footsteps and, uh, that's going to be all for getting a reverb set up. Thanks a bunch. Um, going to back out of here. And what are we doing for our next video? Oh, our next video. This is going to be a fun one. We're going to be uh, messing around with sequences in WISE, uh, using sequence containers to create some complex audio events. And uh, this is going to be really cool. So thanks again. Uh, check you later.